PDF Make follows a declarative approach. That is, we never need to calculate the positions of the each and every element manually. Almost all the other libraries need these positions. Document definition object, as per the name, it's an object, consists of certain properties such as header, footer, background image, columns, tables, list, paragraphs, li links, watermark. These all will be discussed individually in coming videos. Next, we deal with the styles. This library provides the convenient way of styling using the properties. For a front-end developer, it will be much more simpler that the property names and values will be more familiar for them. Here we use the properties such as font. Uh, it's actually a string that is the name of the font. For the custom fonts, we use the names that has been declared in the VFS font file. Font size, it's a number type. This number value is in points and not in the pixel. Line height, it's a number. The default value will be one. Bold, it's a Boolean value. Default is false. When it's true, it will make the bold font declared in font file. Italics, its default value is false. Alignment, it's a string property where we can have the values left, center, or right. This property can be used to align the text. Only the horizontal wise. Color, it's a string. This property is used to color the text. It can be any color name, just like red, blue, or it can be hexadecimal value, such as uh, FFF, <laughs> etc. Background, it's a string property used to initialize the background color of the text. Marker color, it's a string used to color the bullets in the bulleted list. Decoration, it's a string used to give decoration for the text, such as underline, line through, overline. Decoration style, it's a string used to style the above decoration. Values can be dash, dot, double, or wavy. Decoration color, it's a string used to color the text decoration, and it can be color name or hexadecimal value of the color. That's it for now. See you in next video.